Delays are building. We continue to follow the story out of Jacksonville Beach. Local entrepreneurs say the city of Jacksonville Beach is making it near impossible for them to open up their business. Since Leah Shields first reported on the story, she's had more entrepreneurs chiming in and coming forward about this. She joins us live with the very latest. Katie, I was here about three weeks ago and the building still looks the same here at House and Haven. This is supposed to be their second location. They plan on opening this location months ago. They say if they could only just get their building permit, two weeks and they would be open, but their doors remain locked. If I had known now what was going to happen to me when I purchased and started this project, I never would have done it. Regret. Owners Bill Sharp and Julie Childers are wondering if the wait will be worth it. Since I last talked to them, they've reappraised their building and reapplied for a building permit. Other than confirmation that the application was received, we have not gotten any answers. Who they have heard from is other business owners. They do not even want to get anywhere close to this with a 10 foot pole because they are absolutely scared of retribution. What's your situation right now? I talked with a civil engineer who has been delayed for a year on his project. I also talked with an investor who says the rules are inconsistent and arbitrary. Everybody, everybody knows that this needs to be changed. And what is anybody doing about it? Meantime, we're just sitting here with our thumbs twiddling, losing money, not operating our business, not moving forward, and it's very painful. These business owners all want the building codes and the variances that's changed be updated to more of today's standards to make the city more business friendly. And it actually can be done, though there are Florida state building codes. There also are city codes that can be changed by the city council or even the planning department. Leah Shields, First Coast News, on your side.